Alright, what's up guys? FaZe Prezi here, and I'm doing a, another commentary on... This one's gonna... Well, my last one was on YouTube success. That actually got a lot of hate because people said I was copying Infrared or something. And honestly, I did not really know who Infrared was. And his... I found out that he does like a series about YouTube success. And mine was just like a topic. So, that's to clear anything up. And yeah, today I'm gonna be doing a commentary on uh, trick shotting tips. Ever since uh, MW2, me and Zay and uh, Karma, we've always looked for ways to find out how certain trick shots work and stuff like that. Like in MW2, there's the thing, the whole thing with that like slide reload. There's a uh, tack flipping, like while it twists and stuff. Like if you guys have noticed that, there's like two different ways to tack flip, two different ways to reload. Actually, I think there's like three different ways to reload. But uh. My commentary will hopefully cover every game. I don't know if I, if I can, but this is going to be probably like... I'm not going to try to drag it out too long because I just kind of like wrote some stuff down. And these are the things I was going to talk about. But yeah. Uh, first tip that I would have to say is when you're using... When you're like going for a shot, especially in this game, I've noticed that uh, if, you, if you just like reload sometimes... I don't know. Like, if you re if you go for a shot and you don't have a full clip, say you have like four bullets, I don't know. It's not working right now. It's kind of like, yeah, like right there. I didn't actually shoot because my bullet didn't register. Stuff like that. And for some people, this could be a lot more frequent than for me, at least. Uh, I don't. I've learned to like stop reloading or at least get a full clip. Yeah, like there again. It shoots on my screen, but it doesn't shoot an actual bullet. That's something you guys have to be wary about. I know people who do this like 50% of the time. They trick shot. Which is definitely bad. Uh, I'd say if you if you uh, want to get a shot off, for sure, I'd always advise to pistol swap or silent shot. And since like pistol swapping doesn't really work in this game, I would say... Uh, yeah, see, I didn't shoot there again. I would say either silent shot or keep a full clip. That's my first tip. Second tip. This tip is going to be harder for people than uh, normal. I don't know why I'm just like going for shots right now. I guess I'll... Actually, I don't even know. Second tip. This is... This will take time. You have to become a smarter player overall. Uh, I know people who use like... Stupid lethals and tacticals or like whatever equipments. Just because they want to go for like a different shot. But honestly stuns and shock charges are like the way to go like that's just be that's being biased but it's smarter for you so if you this is this is de like this commentary is just towards people who are wanting to get better at trick shotting like people who are already established they don't they shouldn't really care about this whoa did you see that glitch for a sec how did i do that i have no idea how i did that all right anyways um what's it called where was I? Shit. Yeah, use shock charges and stuns. That's what I'm trying to get across. Becoming a smarter player, say like, tagging is one thing. If you want to hit a shot, my policy is basically you always have to tag him. Because I want one, my policy is I want one good attempt over like four bad ones. Like I'd rather, I'd rather have a hundred percent chance of actually killing him with my shot than like having like a 50% chance or a 70% chance. So I always tag the, per the person before I go for a shot. Another tip to being a smarter player is say like the guy is in the middle or something and he's raping your whole team. It'd be stupid to like just stand up here. But I see a lot of people doing that and going for shots. Like especially if he's really good. Like if he's bad then I'm up there with them. But if he's like really good I still see people up here. I usually, like, this is just for this map, but I, like, camp right here. This is a really good spot. Uh, I just sit here and wait until they plant the bomb, and then I just r run up. This is exactly what I do. Stun. Go over here. I, I can't tag with this gun, obviously, but I tag, and then just, like, I don't know, go for a shot. You know? Uh, that's my second tip. Just become a smarter player overall. Help out the team. Don't camp to last. No one likes people who camp to last. Shit's stupid. Alright. Third tip. If you shoot too early, that's what I found out in this game. I shoot pretty early in this game. 
And my tip from the beginning of this game was, say, like, in MW2, I would just, like, face where the guy was. Like, say if he's, like, over here, over here or something, I would face that way and jump off. But I found in this game, a 45 degree angle or a 90 degree angle helps you time your spins better. You, uh, what's it called? You have, like, the same muscle movement, I guess, in your finger. And you spin this, like, the same amount of degrees. But you have a, you actually get, like, a good opportunity. Uh, fourth tip, you should know what, uh, attachments work with snipers. Like, work for trick shotting. I see people using, like, fast mag FMJ. Like, that's it. And I've heard lot, like, lots of rumors about, like, laser and ballistic CPU and stuff. Or no, not, not that. Laser not working and stuff. But I know for a fact that you're going to hit more shots. Did I just do it again? I couldn't tell. I wasn't really paying attention. I really need to pay attention. Alright, anyways. Um, you, yeah, you should know what... Jesus, I'm getting spammed on Skype. Anyways. Uh, you should know what attachments work well with snipers. Like, people who use laser or ballistic are definitely going to have a higher chance of hitting shots than people who just use, like, fast mag or FMJ. That's, that's almost, like, guaranteed, in my opinion. That might be biased, too, but I honestly strongly believe that. Um, fifth tip, I would say, is go for shots that you've practiced. It's It'd be kind of stupid just to, like, I don't know, go for a shot that you're not comfortable with. I always, I have five or so shots that I always practice. Uh, I can't, I don't know if I can show any right now. Because I don't really have a shot with this gun that I'm practicing. I don't know why I have this class, actually. But yeah, go for shots that you've practiced. Don't go for something, like, retarded and that you have no idea what you're doing. And you don't know the timing well, timing well with. Because you're just going to, like, get a shitty opportunity and then you're going to die. Uh, I think this is a sixth tip. Alright, you need to know the height or obstacle clearance. When trick shotting, like this is gonna sound nerdy, but like I actually like put all a lot of this into play when I trick shot. Uh, like this doesn't apply to like insane lucky shots, but you should definitely know the height of maps. Uh, you should know how many spins you can do on a certain map. If the guy is like in this general area, how many spins you can do, even for distance. If you're into complex shots and it doesn't really, well, that still matters, but it's easier, I guess. Because timing, like, you can barrel stuff at 1080 easier than you can hit one from far. You don't have to worry about, like, uh, how much, t like, say you spin and shoot, and then your bullet, like, goes down at, like, a angle. You need to, like, not angle it down too much so it hits the floor, but you can't do it up too high, if you know what I'm saying. But if you barrel stuff it, it's just, like, you can easily just hit them. I don't know. I don't know if that's, like, explaining it well. That's making barrel stuff sound like easy, but they're not either. Depends on what you go for. Uh, and obstacle clearance, stuff like this. Say this stealth chopper thing. Wait, <laughs> stealth chopper, uh, stealth bomber. You should know how many spins you can do over it to get a shot over. Stuff like that. Like, you can definitely 1080 over it. You can 1440 and somehow hit them under. I've seen that happen. But you just need to practice, basically. Uh, seventh tip? Know what kind of trick shots you want to hit. If you want to be a distance player, like, practice just your timing, I'd say. And practice, like, um, if you want to be a complex player, just do whatever you do. Just uh, practice your spins, practice your shot, and you'll get an opportunity. Uh, eighth tip. I'd say learn basics before you try something out of the blue. Uh, like I said, people see like private match shots and they're like, oh, that's so sick. And then they automatically try to go for them and they get frustrated. And they're like, oh, why can't I do that? Stuff like that. You definitely need to learn basics before you go on to doing things like that. Learn, like in this game, you definitely need to learn how to like insta swap because that's basically the basis of everything in this game. You can learn how to why insta swap. Oh god, I suck. Like, a couple months ago, I couldn't insta-swap at all. And I'm pretty happy that I can now. 
like shoot insta swap, knife insta swap. It's a very, it's a fairly easy trick shot. I just never really thought of it. Oh, and this is like a tip that I just thought of. It's not on my thing, but um, what's it called? Like, this might fuck with some people's heads, but you should definitely think about the button sequence you press if you're having a lot of trouble with the shot, because that actually sometimes clears it up for me. So think about like, oh, it's like B, Y, R, B, Y, stuff like that. It actually helps me out a lot sometimes for shots, but some other shots it like messes me up too, so I don't know. Uh, eighth tip, I think? Try to keep your standards up with the current standards. Don't, there's no point of being subpar because everyone wants to improve. Unless you're just like, I don't know, like you don't care at all. But you should always keep your standards up or surpass standards if you want to get into a bigger clan. That's just a tip for, I guess that's a YouTube success tip too, but whatever. And uh, last tip is you should always YY if you don't have enough time for your shot. Like, YYing definitely helps you shoot faster. It's like, see, like, like that. And then, let's get back up here. Like, you can shoot. I was, like, retarded. But you get my picture. Like, you can shoot a lot faster than, uh, what's it called? Oh, God. My finger slipped really bad. You can shoot a lot faster than if you just, I don't know how to say it. Let the gun come out naturally? I don't know how to describe it. But, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, commentary. I know it might not not it might not have been that exciting, but I hope it helped you guys out. I've had like a lot of questions, and I had like a group of people that I do this with. Like me and Zay are actually really interested in how to like get the most out of your attempt. I guess get the highest percent chance of hitting a shot. That's why I don't know like. Back a while back, me and Zay used to hit a lot of shots. Me and Zay and Karma, we hit a lot of shots just because we knew our timing well. Oh, I forgot about this tip. If you're having trouble timing, this is like a really basic tip. Um, say, I remember when I was in TSU, I couldn't time anything. I couldn't time 720s. I was wondering how everyone in Dare did it. And uh, basically, like I would, I was retarded. I was like, like I was like, oh, where do I go and stuff like that. But me and uh, Karma practiced a lot. Basically, all we did was we would jump off and maybe cancel or something. And the way we learned how to 720 is by pausing every spin. So 360, 720, like that. That's definitely a way to help you improve. And as you get better at trickshotting, as you perfect your timing, you can definitely just speed it up. Just You'll know automatically like how far you have to push your analog and stuff like that. That's definitely a good tip for you guys. Even 1080s, like, all right, I didn't even like jump there. Actually, I don't know if you can pause between all spins of a 1080 in this. Yeah, I don't know, it's kind of retarded. But you get the picture, you can do it on bigger maps and practice. So yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. Uh, I hope it was some help to you guys. If you liked it, please leave a like. And uh, yeah, if you wanna get better at a trick shotting, but you don't feel like playing claw, definitely use my code for scuff, which is just Prizzy. Get a discount. Same with control freaks, which is Prizzy. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Deuces, guys.